So, welcome back everyone uh, to another episode of the Gundam Shop. <laughs> uh, today I had to come in a scooter. I don't know if anybody else has noticed, but gas prices are through the roof. And I'm scootering my butt over here because, yeah, it's about oh, now over two bucks a liter, which is about roughly, I don't know, eight gallon, eight dollars a gallon, <laughs> which is just, it, it, that's why I'm scootering. Uh, but today, uh, I just wanted to share a little story. I went down the rabbit hole a little bit and uh, I found it. It's going to be a spicy video. We'll see. I don't know. Let me know if you guys want these kind of spicy videos. But uh, yeah, we're going to keep everything vague. And uh, yeah, so also hopefully you guys like the scenery. Yes, this is set up purposely for this video because why not? Um where do we begin? Pre-ordering, back ordering, all that kind of stuff in the modern age of these crazy times. So, um, let's start off with uh, just things in general. Uh, we're going to start off not with Gundams, but how it leads into the Gundam atmosphere. Um, nowadays you can pre-order stuff and back order stuff because there's a shortage of literally everything. It seems like if there's something, uh, that you want, you got to wait for it or it's really expensive. So, um, yeah. So say for instance, well, and, and with pre-ordering there's, there's something that has come up, which is very interesting even to me. And I have been noticing it a little bit. So say for instance, you go to a furniture store or something it doesn't really matter big box store or whatever and you have the ability to back order something um the companies are more than willing to take uh every cent that you're willing to give them to wait for an item now in the company's mind or the business's mind um they got a sale and they will hopefully get the item that you want to you hopefully uh, worst case scenario, they can't get it and they get an interest free loan. <laughs> That's pretty much it. Um, and then when you're ready to, uh, say, listen, I waited too long. I want to cancel this. They're like, okay, here's your money back. But you know, there's a cancellation fee or some kind of, you know, restocking fee or whatever it may be, even though they don't, some companies do that, but, uh, yeah. So how does this tie in with, uh, the Gundams, Gundam business? Well, I got a few phone calls um, and actually an email. I actually got an email like an hour ago uh, asking um, for a specific kit that's coming out. I'm going to keep this vague too, but somewhere around Christmas time. Let's put it that way. And it's a, a highly anticipated kit and everybody wants it. Well, um, I was wondering why all of a sudden all these people wanted to know why or if I will be uh, pre-ordering this kit. And uh, with through some discussion, we finally I finally got to the bottom of it. It seems like one retailer in Canada was offering pre-orders for this particular kit. And I did a little bit of research and with a little bit of uh, talking with people, it seemed like they had a lot to pre-order. Let's put it that way. Uh, roughly a hundred, which is okay. Did I miss something? Because I was never offered anything. Uh, and uh, yeah, so uh, how it works is uh, Bandai or your distributor or whatever will offer you or ask you how much are you interested in getting. And this is like an arbitrage. Like they ask you and you say, oh, I want 60. You don't have to pay for it up front, but your request is recorded. Let's put it that way. And then when they come in, Either they have enough to fill your request or they don't. And they give you like 10 out of the 60 that you requested. Let's put it that way. And uh, this kit I know is going to be crazy. And there's probably guaranteed, just like the PG Unleashed, there's going to be shortages of it. Um, because in the beginning, I remember the same thing happened with a PG. Where ever, I, I asked for, I don't know, 50 to 100 and I got like... 20 uh there if you watch one of my videos when i first got them i was like one of the only ones that had them available that you could actually go and buy uh everybody else pre-ordered and yeah there was actually a funny situation where i'll tell you a quick story in the in between this um there was um 
Cust- uh, uh, other customers of other Gundam shops calling me asking me why I had them for sale and available while their pre-order wasn't filled. And then, I mean, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> we had them available and then they went, <laughs> yeah, it got a little bit, uh, yeah, there were some people frustrated that I was, uh, even I didn't pre-order any. It's the other stores pre-ordered it to them, but didn't have it available and I had them available. So yeah, I had to deal with all that. But um, going back to this, uh, I was like, oh, damn, maybe I missed something. Maybe I, di- I didn't get the request because of, you know, we had some situations with uh, Bandai and stuff like that. And maybe uh, they decided, no, you're not in it anymore, <laughs> which is not the case at all. They love me, I think. Um, well, they're providing me with all this stuff. So I thought this would be a cool view and a little preview of what we have. Look how much doms we have. It's like a whole wall. Crazy, huh? But anyways, um, so I started uh, reaching out to distributors and stuff and asking, um, hey, did, was there any pre-orders for this specific kit? And Or is it available? Maybe I messed something up. Like I, I was kind of panicked a little bit because I was like, oh, maybe I missed something and I didn't uh, pre-order it or not pre-order, request it. And, uh, yeah, and the distributor's like, what are you talking about? It's not released yet. And I said, I know that, but did you guys send out the requests or whatever? And they're like, no. (laughs) And I was like, oh, okay. Well, uh, I was saying this particular store had them. Uh, we share, we, I, I talked to a few distributors. We actually share a couple, like one of them anyways, um, and uh, the distributor, actually, he told me a funny story too, or interesting story. The distributor said, uh, no, we didn't uh, do that. Uh, it's not being released till uh, Christmas time. And by the time it lands here, like who knows when we're actually going to get them. And I was like, oh, because uh, this particular store was selling uh, pre-orders. And he's like, oh, okay, that's weird, but okay. And uh, I said he's selling roughly 100 and this is exactly how he reacted. <laughs> you serious? Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so, um, and yeah, we, uh, we were, I was taken aback by it. He was taken aback by it. And uh, it's, uh, yeah. So. Now, here is where this is – all of this is my opinion. Take it as a fictional story and uh, none. take it with a grain of salt. It's all, it's all fake. Let's put it that way. This is a non-real story. You know, take it as you will. But uh, I came up with a theory because, you know, and there's no, no – I read the little spiel. There's no refunds, no cancellations, uh, stuff like that. And going back to my uh, no interest loan, <laughs> uh, and a hundred of these guys maybe being sold, um, I so here's here's the same day this pre order went up at this particular shop is the same day uh, a release was released from a particular distributor that we both deal with actually. And uh, I thought so. The way it works with distribution, this, this particular distributor, is that you put in your request and you have to take everything that they offer. So, say you wanted a hundred virtues and they get a hundred virtues in, uh, you have to take them all. You cannot change your. Oh, I, I just want fifty. No, it doesn't work that way. And then and you get put in the bad books. Of the distributor, they don't want to work with you, and everyone's mad. And yada, yada, yada. And uh, yeah, so uh, it was it was very convenient that the same day that this was released, uh, the pre-order was the same day that uh, this, this certain distributor was releasing all of the items uh, that you had to pay for and take. And I was thinking to myself, you know, one of the enemies of uh, being a, re- a retailer is capital. And what's a quick, like quick way of gaining capital for these kind of situations, and not having to? It's like an interest-free loan for potentially six months, 
or more because who knows when they're going to come in. And if you sold like a hundred of these guys at, uh, say with shipping, because you don't have to ship anything else, say 200 bucks a pop, uh, it's like 20 grand interest free for uh, maybe half a year, maybe more. Thought that was interesting. So guys, um, yeah, it's just my fun little story for today. Actually, uh, I'll tell you something the distributor told me. This particular kit is a regular release in North America and uh, P Bandai in Japan. So how about that, huh? We uh, we always get uh, kind of screwed with the P Bandai stuff, and now it's uh, the tables have turned. <laughs> so um, yeah, I thought that was kind of funny. I, I think that's North America, and I, I, this is the information I'm getting. I I don't know 100%. This is just what I've been told. So if anybody has information about that, that's that's fun. But uh, yeah, and here's another thing. I was just actually just thinking about this. If, uh, say for instance, because I'll tell you, my cost for everything has skyrocketed. Shipping, um, oh my goodness, shipping boxes, just everything in general. I came on a scooter today because gasoline and diesel is just too damn expensive. I literally scootered my butt over here. It, who knows what's going to happen Christmas time. Hopefully, you know, and the way, the way the world is going, it's pretty chaotic out there. And uh, I just see prices increasing and increasing and increasing. So, um, with, say, with that being said, I don't know how... Say, for instance, you pre-order something. Shipping costs go up. Uh, just everything in general going up. Is the price you paid going to be honored? That's an interesting question because even I was talking to the distributor, he doesn't know the prices because they don't know the shipping. They don't know this. They don't know. There's so many variables. So, and most of distributors have uh, told everybody not to pre-order anything because it's, that's how dicey it is. So I don't know. I just thought I would tell, let me know if you guys are interested in these kind of stories. I got another one where, uh, you know, a shop tried to smuggle in some uh, kits as books and dodge uh, <laughs> customs. <laughs> I still have that one to share and I still have, I actually have those particular kits. So yeah, that'd be an interesting story. But uh, anyways, guys, I don't have any pre-orders. We don't pre-order anything. That's why we have things available. And um, if you do decide to, I don't think you're not going to get your kit. Hopefully, with inflation and everything, I hope there's no, uh, you know, you don't have to pay extra or because of this changes, everyone has to pay a little more. I, I don't know. I don't know any of these things. And honestly, I'm probably overthinking it. It's just something I was a part of because I had to go down the rabbit hole of figuring out, you know, yeah. But uh, yeah, I thought I'd share this little story with you guys. And uh, for those... Um, who pre-ordered that from that place um you're probably going to get it and you probably have nothing to worry about but uh it could be just like the pg unleashed some people had to wait a year while we had them available and uh yeah be careful out there let me know if you guys like these kind of videos it's a little bit more spicier than uh i would like but uh like i said we stupid we got a lot of requests for it, and when I went digging, we just got this kind of information. But anyways, guys, let me know what you think. And don't forget to keep on building, guys. Oh, restock? Maybe this weekend. Just a little bit of a preview of what we got going on. And uh, having said that, bye, guys.